McDermott. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, this measure uh, needs to be uh, recommitted, quite simply because it has no public support. This measure needs to be recommitted because the Department of Education doesn't want it. This measure needs to be re recommitted because the public all over the state rejected something similar last year, but at an older age. This bill needs to be recommitted because during the health committee, the testimony was 13 supporters, 54 opponents. Let me say that again. 13 supporters, 54 opponents. You go to the education committee, there were 30 supporters and 46 opponents. Now, Mr. Speaker, why would we uh, put something like this forward? Why? The public, we, we're here to serve the public. The public has made their their position on this very clear. The Department of Education, who is going to be charged with carrying this measure out, says we don't want it. But we force it down their throat. Oh, you're going to take our social engineering, damn it. And we force it down their throat. Why? Why do we do that, Mr. Speaker? The public does not want this rubbish. Why do we force it down their throats? The Senate hasn't even taken it up. Why do we insist on pushing this through? Insist on getting our way? Why do we do that, Mr. Speaker? Mr. Speaker, we're putting the cart before the horse. The department doesn't even have curriculum standards to address what this bill wants to do. There are no standards to K through six. Why in the world would we create some Franken monster and tell the department to do this. The department says we don't want it. Public says we don't want it. Yeah, but we know better, damn it. Why would we do that? Why would we do that to them, Mr. Speaker? I know my constituents. They don't want this. Why, why are we doing this? Health committee, 13 supporters, 54 opponents. Education committee, 30 supporters, 46 opponents. Why? Why do we do this over and over? The community doesn't want it. The parents doesn't want it. Department of Education doesn't want it. And we don't even have the curriculum standards for it. And nobody has seen the implementing language of the underlying measure, because there is none. And with those comments, Mr. Speaker, I tried to keep it light earlier. But I guess we're going to have to get down to business on the following measure. And at the appropriate time, I'd like to call a recall vote. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Any further discussion on the motion to recommit? Representative Ward. Speaker, I speak in favor of the motion. Please proceed. Uh, Speaker, some may think uh, today is an unusual phenomenon. Actually, this is the second recommittal. It was recommitted back in the SB1 days, back in the special session. This issue brought up was brought up. We said, oh, we're going to take care of it during the session. Don't worry about it. That was the first recommittal. Now, this recommittal is because, as the former speaker said, we haven't really dialogued sufficiently with the community because what they have know about it so far, they're not in favor of. So I think we need to do a little bit more discussion, a bit more deliberation, and a bit more of wait and see rather than let's rush full forward for this. For those reasons, I think recommittal is a sound judgment. Thank you very much.